right, let's go over finance. First, we're going to estimate. First, we're going to write 80% as a decimal. Let's review how to do this. Percent means per hundred. So it's 80 per hundred, which is the same as eight tenths. Okay, so we could take this right now how it is 80%, 80 hundredths, and we could just write 80 hundredths, zero and 80 hundredths. Or we could write zero and eight tenths. Okay, now the way we worked on this was because we're going into it a hundred times, we're going it into a hundred, so we're dividing by a hundred. So when we divide by 10, we move the decimal one spot. Divide by 100, move it two spots, so it's 0 0.80 as a decimal. You could also write 8 tenths, they're equivalent. Estimate 15% of a tip on a dinner bill of $87.22 by first rounding the bill amount to the nearest $10. Okay, so we're rounding this to the nearest $10. So $87.22, $87 is closer to $90 than it is to $80. So we round that to 90. 15% of that, well, 10% is pretty easy. We just move the decimal one spot. So 10% is $9. And then we have another 5%. Well, that'd be half of 10%. So half of nine is 450. So we could just add nine plus 450 in our head. That's $13.50. You don't have to show me any work for that one. You can just work that out in your head. If it's helpful to write it down, write it down. Same thing for this one. The other ones I wanna see work. The circle graph shows how the annual budget for a company is divided by each department in the company. Use this graph to answer your questions. Okay, so we've got this big company. They're dividing up their money. Which department gets approximately one fourth of the annual budget? Well, if we look at it, that would be halves, that'd be fourths. So it'd be the one with the closest to the right angle. Too small, too small, too big, too big, too small, too small. Right there's about a half right angle. So the answer for that is sales. Approximately what percent of the budget goes to editorial and sales combined? Okay, so we have editorial and sales here. Together, we know that's more than 25%. So way less than 50, closer to 30 than 40, so we'll go 30% on that one. Okay, talking money this week, talking finances, talking budgets, taxes, all that fun stuff. The next model of a sports car will cost 13.9% more than the current model. The current model costs $38,000. How much will the price increase in dollars? And then what will the next price be? So first we're gonna find the increase. So it's 13.9% more than 38,000. So let's find out 13.9% of 38,000. First let's change this to a decimal. So we divide by 100, 0 0.139. Of, we know means multiply, 38,000. So we're gonna plug that into a calculator. $5,282, that makes sense. It's an expensive car. So the price of the next model is not $5,282, it's $5,282 more than 38,000. So we're gonna add those two. And again, you can use your calculator. It's gonna be $43,282. Okay, to make sure it makes sense, it's gonna be more than that. Yeah, cars usually increase in price year after year. New models, that is. Always take that time, go back, read the question again, make sure you answered exactly what it wanted. Question five, a camera has listed price of $721.99 before tax. So after tax, it's gonna be more. The sales tax rate is 7.5%, close to Indiana's. Find the total cost, what sales tax included, round your answer to the nearest cent as necessary. Okay, so we're gonna find 7.5% of $721.99. So we're going to move the decimal two spots. 
0 0.075, and it's a zero there, times 721.99. That's going to give you 54.149 on and on and on and on. We're going to the nearest hundredth, nearest penny. So that's $54.15 in taxes. This is not the total cost. That's the cost plus that. So we're going to do that plus that. Gives you seven hundred seventy six dollars and fourteen cents okay so i should see your work writing out something like this to find your tax then we want to make sure it makes sense it should be a, a bit more than that it is it's about fifty dollars more today only a sofa is being sold at a 24 percent discount so it's going to be 24 percent less than a hundred percent this is the sale price. So we know the real price is more than that. Okay, so let's say the original price times um, well, that would give you the sale price. Well, we could do times the discount and work backwards. Times the discount is going to give you the sale price, not the discount, but what the percent um, would be that you would pay. Okay, so the sale price is $323. I gotta do this one a little different. That's not the discount, that's how much you're paying. So you would normally pay 100% minus 24% is 76%. So 76% of the original price, I shouldn't use O, O looks too much, too much like a zero. The original price times 76% gives you the new price. Okay, so what was the price yesterday? Well, we wanna isolate our variable, we wanna isolate our O, so we're gonna divide both sides by 76%. That would make sense to turn that into a decimal So 323 divided by 0.76 gives you $425. So the original price was $425. It's gotta be much more than this. So I could check it out. And work backwards. It was a $102 discount. So what 24% is. So that plus that gives you the original. Okay. There's other ways to work that out too. Uh, but we can subtract to find the original. That's not what percent you're paying. That's what's discounted off 100%. Jane has two coupons for a phone. The first one's 45% off an $83 phone. And the other is a $40 rebate on an $83 phone. So rebate means money back. So this would be 83 minus 40 for this one. That's pretty easy. This one you're paying $43. Okay. Choose a coupon that gives the lower price, then fill in the blank with the correct value. Okay, so that one was $43. That one was easy. 45% off that phone. So what percent are you paying? Well, normally you pay 100% minus 45%. You're paying 55%. So we can change that to a decimal, 0 0.55 of, multiply, $83. So we could use a calculator, 50% would be easy, 55% is a little more challenging. You're paying $45.65. $45 okay, so this one you're paying $45.65, this one you're paying $43. So. You want to pay less money. Okay, so to pay less money, you're subtracting this minus this. Yeah. So you could save two dollars and sixty-five cents by doing this coupon. Coupon B gives the lower price by two dollars and sixty-five cents. Okay. 
You could work that another way too. You can see that this one is $40 and you could do 0.45 of 83 and see that this one saves you $37 and 35 cents and subtract these numbers. I just found the price of the phones. Either one works. Both of them would give you $2.65. Circle Graph shows how Miguel's budgets a total of $54,000 for the year. So he pays that much in taxes, his house, his food, his savings, entertainment, clothing, all that stuff. Find the percent of each budget for each category below. So what percent does he pay for transportation? Okay, well total, it's 54,000. So for transportation, 5,940 divided by 54,000, then we'll change it to a percent. Same thing for all of these. For savings, he saves 1,620 of his 54,000. And for housing, 9,720 divided by 54,000. Plug those into the calculator. Zero point one one. So I'm just going to do the rest of these. Eleven hundredths is eleven percent for transportation. If you look at that slice. Yeah, that's about ten percent of the whole thing. This one, 0 0.03, so that's 3%, so that's just a small sliver. Not saving enough, bud. You gotta save more, Miguel. And then this is 0 0.18, 18 hundredths, which is 18%. 18% on his house, he's doing pretty good there. All right, so that's how we would find those percents. We're gonna divide it by the, from the total, divide it by the total. Number nine, table shows the typical salaries and education for four years in recent careers. Okay, here's some different careers, how much education you need. How much more money does an atmospheric scientist typically earn than a construction manager? How much more? How much more? That's a subtraction problem. 87,030 minus 84,410 be around 3,000. I'm going to use a calculator. I really don't need to, but it'll help me set up for the next half, I think. So $2,620. How many more years of education does an atmospheric scientist typically have than a construction manager? Four more years of school. Four minus zero, four. Assume that the salary stays the same for both these careers for 30 years. How much more would they earn over 30 years? Okay, so we could do both those numbers times 30, or to, fig to figure out how much they each make over 30 years and then subtract them, or we know it's this much every year, so that much after one, add that for two, add that for three, add that for four, so we're just gonna do that times 30. So that's $78,600 over 30 years. Good chunk of change. Each year, 30 years, $78,000. All right. This money stuff is good stuff. Number 10. For the second week of November, Jim Cooper worked $45.25. Jim earns $8 an hour. His employer pays overtime for all hours of work in excess of 40 hours per week. You know, in excess means more than 40 hours. He pays 1.5 times the hourly rate for overtime hours. Okay, so let's figure out his regular pay amount, his overtime amount, and then his gross amount. His gross pay, gross means his total. How much does he make before taxes and all that stuff? Okay, so his regular pay. His regular, regular pay is 40 hours at $8 an hour. 
So 40 times eight, he makes $320. a lot of money. His overtime pay. Well, his overtime is what's in excess of 40. So 45.25 minus 4 gives you $5. 5 hours. 5.25 5 hours. 5 and a quarter hours. More than 40. Okay. So for each of those hours, he makes not just $8, but 1.5 times that rate. So he's going to make 8. 1.5 times 8. So he's going to make more than $8. He's going to make $12 an hour. Okay, so if he's making $12 an hour for this amount of time, he's making $63 more. Okay, so you get $8 an hour for 40 hours, and then every hour after that, $12 an hour. Okay, so he makes this much plus this much, so his gross, his total, was $383 that week. Okay, so find your first 40 hours, and then all the other hours are paid at one and a half times that rate. All right, that's your homework this week. Do a good job on it. Use this video for help.